This is Five Live. Our reporter Judy Hobson has been to the school. Hi, Judy. Yes, the Radcliffe School's been nominated for a national award for this new approach. Hi, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Friday Feeling. You are an outstanding team. We've had a fantastic year and three years running, you have delivered the best ever results in the history of our school. Let's have a lovely day. Go out there and weave your magic. Morning, girls. You all right? How are you doing? Lovely. When I initially was choosing a school for my daughter, I was devastated at the fact that she had to come to this school. Over the years, I've seen him transform this school into the current outstanding school that it is now. We'll be walking down in the morning and he'll say hi every morning to you. And he's always, like, proper motivating. The, that's the bell. So go and enjoy. Have a lovely day. All right. All right, let's go in, lads. Now time for learning. I remember when I first came here and the local newspaper came to interview me, because I was quite a young person then, you wouldn't notice it from my grey hairs now, and it says, a young head to inspire. And that's what I wanted to do, and raise their expectations. Good morning, lads. Nice. Welcome. When I was in school, it wasn't like this big fancy building you see. It was a lot older. Buildings were run down. Some of the, we had porter cabins instead of classrooms, so it's a massive difference. I feel like I've watched it grow and evolve from not such an amazing school to, a, to one of the best in this whole area. Just changing that culture of kids wanting to do well, raising the aspirations. It's like been like turning around the tanker to establish that love of learning. You only have to look at our students to see the journey we've made and look at where they're going that we're getting students that are going to Oxbridge. That is fantastic. These are our five respects. The students had an input into these five respects. They're part of our DNA now. And that has helped transform the learning culture in here. So we've got this attitude that you can be whatever you want to be and, you know, sky's the limit here. And the Book of Excellence, which is down right in the centre of our atrium, is part of those aspirations. The Book of Excellence is to recognise the achievements of our students. Every week we get staff to nominate whoever they want. Then on Wednesday, those students come here for lunch. Welcome, have a seat. Welcome, everybody. We talk to them about their careers, their aspirations, their ambitions, and really give them a big round of applause. Basically, I'm your waiter for lunch. <laughs> That's what I do at lunchtime. All right, I'm going to bring these around. It's really easy to talk to. It's not like he's just another head teacher that sits in his office all day. To start, you've all got a drink. I've got my fruit salad. You always feel like it's a privilege because you actually get to talk to him, to be like the big boss. A lot of our children, not all of them, come to us starting from behind the line. And our job as professionals is to try and ensure after five years they're with us, they end up well beyond the line. And if education can make that difference to their lives, for me, there's no better job. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our head teacher of the year in a secondary school, Hodgel Haya. So, Ahadiel, you, you reward the star pupils by having lunch with them. Please tell me that the other pupils also get lunch. <laughs> they do, uh, but not in my office every day. <laughs> <laughs> and you talked there about your, your mentoring scheme. So, how does that work? Really, what we've developed is that every member of staff has, has a responsibility for looking after our students and mentoring them. And what it does is it gives every single member of staff a stake in the success of our school. It's about having, making a big school into a small one and creating small families all around our school. Well, it obviously works, and you have this beyond outstanding rating. How difficult is it to maintain that? Well, 
that's our challenge. We want to go beyond outstanding by relentless pursuit of personal excellence for every single child. It's not about what we've done. It's what we want to do with the children who are there for the future. Ladies and gentlemen, our Head Teacher of the Year in a secondary school, Hardy O'Hare. And thank you very much, Amina Fasanya.